Hello, this is Soaring Moon with my 13th devlog video. This devlog video is going to be different than the rest because it's not going to be for uh, Kijim and Winborn Ken. This is for another game I made over the last month um, as part of a contest for a uh, game jam run by Video Game Donkey, the 7 million sub YouTuber. This game is is an incremental game with some unique mechanics and I'll explain them as I go along but yeah I developed an entire game over the last month and it's uh, available to play it's on my uh, itch page if you want to go and play that so we start with a new game sorry for this uh, insert right in the middle of this uh, intro but I realized uh, that I made the audio very low for the uh, game audio um, throughout this uh, recording. I really don't want to record uh, 30 minutes of uh, gameplay again. Um, so I'm just going to uh, let the audio of the game play in the beginning and uh, then return to you know an explanation of the game and, and what I did over the development period. So... Um, Enjoy the game audio for the minute or two I'll be recording it. Has to compile. <laughs> And hopefully that gives you a uh, taste of some of the tracks that are in the game. And we get into this uh, overworld here. I'm going to hover over the monsters and get some information from them. We can move left and right. If you hit a tree, the screen shakes. If you enter the water, you get a status effect. But this game is about killing the enemies in front of you. So you'll see that there are damage numbers, a lot of things happening on the screen. We have an HP bar on the right side and a stamina bar on the left side. Running into the trees does a, an inconsequential amount of damage, but it does do a little bit of damage. We'll see that um, there are five colored blocks um, here and each represents a character stat. The red one is strength, the green is defense, black is attack accuracy and evasion, blue is attack speed, and yellow is stamina. And these 
uh, stats can be switched. So currently I am in the attack mode, but I can switch modes by pressing buttons. And this is defense mode, precise mode, reflex mode, and cautious mode. I, can, I also have a weapon I'm currently using, which is the slasher, which you can see here. It's got its own effects, um, but I can switch weapons as well. I have the slasher, the bonker, which is very slow. Oop, missed an attack. I have the stick. I don't think I'm going to get through them before the character dies. And you see that there are, uh, uh, this is a full full sound experience. I did uh, a lot of sound, uh, sound effects for this game. All the weapons have their own unique sound effects and animations. I'm going to die here soon, so we'll see what happens when we die. Oh no. Okay. And when I die, I, um, it says lame heal us of the death. However, death is only temporary for a wielder of the stars. For your efforts, you've been awarded the following award. Reward. Poker. So you get a weapon from this. It's green. And if I go to the stars menu, you can see that I have the green poker down here. And the character's animated. Um, has different armor now because I killed some enemies. These are the numbers. And this is the number of enemies killed. I have 31 stars stat points. So the character can, uh, the player can apply uh, stat points to their character by simply clicking any of these boxes. So, and there, the five, five points have been applied, one in each color. And if I hold shift, I can apply 10 at once. You'll see that this triangle segment, there's like a um, gray background here. If I shift click, I can um, apply 10 points and you see that that's, uh, that's moved. I'm gonna do that to the blue section as well, which is over here. And you see that that's moved as well. I'm gonna go ahead and apply six more stat points. And you can see that it moved during that period of time. So these, these have permanently changed and it'll save when I start the next run. So you see that I have my previously equipped stick weapon. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to beater. Beater's very fast. And then we can, we also have stabber. Stabber is slower, but has, uh, um, uh, uses a little more stamina, has a little less attack accuracy. We have a very low accuracy, high frequency attack weapon. It's the fastest attacking weapon in the game. And you'll see these, um, uh, you see these spheres. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run into this one. When I do that, um, my color changes to black, and this stat is doubled. And see, this is 11. When I go here, it's doubled to 22. So these uh, spheres, they double your uh, double your stats. When you hover over them, it tells you that. And then we have Stinger, which is like a whip. We have Poker which is the upgraded weapon I received, which uh, I should probably use because it has the best uh, damage. I have Keeper, which is a pole arm. Blocker, which is a shield. So shield bashes enemies. And we're back to Slasher. So there are 10, 10 weapons in total. Um, I want you to keep an eye on the stamina bar. So whenever I deplete my stamina, I have to wait for it to recharge before I can attack again. If I go by and double um, the st stamina stat, it decreases far, uh, far slower. Still decreasing quite quickly because these enemies are strong. See that there's a previous best distance uh, marker. So this is as far as it got in the previous run before dying. Um, all of the liquids have different status effects. So when I entered that, my uh, black stat um, halved, and when that that's, uh, uh, status effect goes away, it returns to its original value. So we see, we see I got a green stick on this run, and so I have a green uh, uh, poker, 
and a green stick. And the green stick was rank 50, so I'm probably going to equip that. And I'm going to go ahead and some, apply some points so that everything's even. And I think we're going to apply uh, points into stamina because that's decreasing quite quickly. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and go through the next run. All this music is royalty free. So, you don't have to worry about that on YouTube. I got the, the red one, which doubles my strength, so I can go by and double my my stamina, or maybe even attack speed right now. I don't need quite need the stamina yet. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and smash through these real quick. Oh, attacking nice and fast. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the stick. So a lot stronger. Double my attack speed so I can switch over back to stamina. The um, the power-ups can be avoided by simply letting them run into the bottom of the uh, of the the bottom row line. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there are lane markers. Um, they're white in color. And at the bottom of that, um, after it passes those lane markers, it'll uh, it'll remove the power up. Also, if an enemy runs into a power up, they will also consume it. Doesn't change their stats, but um, it is destroyed. So I'm getting low on HP here. Um, you can have multiple of these bad status effects at the same time. So uh, you can be affected by both water, which uh, um, halves your attack speed, and um, the mud which uh, halves your evasive ability. Uh, this is actually a gray weapon, beater. When I go here, uh, you can see that it's darker than the others. Um, the weapons come in 10 ranks, uh, which are RPG rarities. They go um, gray, green, blue, purple, gold, red, diamond, etc. So the, this is a uh, um, advancement in this game is carried out quite far. Um, and we just start the next run. Well, actually, let me apply these, some, some of these points here. Um, I'm gonna go and just even everything out. I have a push to talk on control and holding control and left mouse button tries to apply 100 points. Um, so uh, I'm releasing control when I do that. So that's why the microphone goes out. Anyway, um, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of music in this game. I got, um, over 30 tracks. Uh, we got five on the mi main menu. We got one in the stars menu with tw 25 in game, um, in main game. Uh, this terrain uh, extends across um, 31 biome images. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of background content here. Um, in order for me to show you that in full, I'd have to like um, change my stats to be really high. But we're showing a, a realistic gameplay video. So um, my stamina is very high. Let's go ahead and go to attack speed, probably use some more of that. As we progress further in the game and our stats get higher, it becomes much easier to reach uh, the best distance point. And the farther we push in, the more stars each enemy gives. You see, there's two stars flying off this enemy when you kill it. Um, three stars here. So this is where we start getting three stars per enemy. So we really want to um, maximize our time in this area so that we can get more stat points for the next run. It is nice that I've gone uh, past my previous distance quite a bit. Um, balancing your stats does does help do that. Um, this is a uh, a really good stat system. I uh, designed it for um, a project of mine called Digiverse, and uh, I never got a chance to utilize it uh, in a way I wanted. Um, so I made some alterations to that for this game. Um, when a column stacks up with ten enemies, regardless of your HP value, the 
uh, the game will end. So increasing your defense actually doesn't um, prevent you from losing. Uh, so this column with a bunch of enemies in it is hard. Um, you see that I'm missing this uh, enemy a lot. So if I uh, switch over to black, it doubles my attack accuracy. And I can hit the enemy a lot more frequently. But, uh, you know, high damage, miss, 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 and then switch over to black. Oh, bonker. Bonker, bonker rank 66. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to bonker. And I can do that from this menu. You can see all the animations of, or, or the all the art I've done for that. Um, but let me go ahead and apply some stat points. I think I can get a little farther if I uh, put it into uh, making myself like not tanky at all. Just go full DPS. Alright, and that's good. So we're almost at the top of this triangle here. Start the next run and just uh, literally plow through these enemies doing a million damage. So I can advance. Um, this uh, this game advances you manually uh, forward. Um, that was an artificial difficulty mechanic. Um, I think uh, because this is a game jam, I can't alter the um, the release version of the game until after the jam is over. But I think I'm going to remove this bar. It's probably unnecessary. I'll give the time uh, uh, the player time to think about their uh, future moves before rolling forward. Uh, probably shouldn't have pushed the pushed the player forward like this, but that is, uh, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. So these uh, these are very slow attacks from the bonker, so I'm going to double the attack speed and pick up the blue um, so that my attack speed is doubled yet again. That way I can actually push through some of these enemies. The attack accuracy should be high enough that I can just plow through all this. Um, you'll see that the HP regenerates very slowly. Um, and this doesn't regenerate unless you are in this mode. Then it regenerates very slowly. The regeneration rate is actually dependent on the weapon rank. Or the, uh, the average of all weapon ranks. So the um, more... Uh, the weapon ranks are increased, the higher that regeneration rate becomes um, at late game when everything's like, um, you know, golden color, um, that regeneration rate is significant enough that uh, um, waiting for stamina no longer is an issue. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to st probably stick and see if we can make any more forward progress. Um, beater's a pretty good weapon. Uh, I think, you know what, oh, I'll go with beer, Beater. Oh, see here this uh, poker is uh, just higher ranked than the one that I had previously. So it replaces the existing po poker with this one. And I now have a 118 stat points to apply. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a little more defense and then split these up again. I might get some more stamina as well. Um, you'll see that when, if I apply, um, 30 more points, or actually 20 more points, that this se segment becomes green, and, uh, now we've reached the second rank of, uh, the star upgrades, and this will go up uh, a lot more slowly, um, as it reaches, uh, the next threshold, which I believe is, um, either, I think it's 1600 points that you need for the next color. So there, I uh, got past 100 points, not change color. And uh, there's a green little sliver back there, if you can see it, um, because the lame ball popping up and down. But And now we continue on. I'm trying to get to a point where I get uh, a good enough distance that I can show you some of the later... Um, uh, mechanics to help players as uh, the game is replayed multiple times. So I'm going to try to get as far as I can here. 
kill enemies early. Go back to good old faithful the stick. Does a lot of damage, attacks quickly, especially with a green. So, uh, this music playlist is really nice. Ooh, I died um, from losing HP, I think. So, well, that's unfortunate. It means my defense is a little low. If um, you receive a weapon that you already have and the rank of the weapon is um, less than the weapon you already have, um, it gives it to to you in stars instead. So got a lot of stat points this run, which is really nice. I'm gonna double my defense. Because apparently I need that and I'll put everything else into DPS. And then go ahead and start this run. <laughs> This game is really fun whenever uh, we have um, more progression, higher stats, and enemies are getting smashed immediately. This game does give you a nice sense of progress. It's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Go ahead and double my attack speed. Because I have the attack damage covered by a power up. Taking a lot of damage from trees, I think. Over here. It is it is a small amount of damage when you run over a tree, but like it does add up if you hit frequently. Especially if you don't have high HP regeneration. So it's really a problem early game. Late game it, uh, it's less of an issue. Um, later on, whenever the player starts encountering uh, other liquids like lava and acid. Um, then those become a primary threat instead of the um, so the um, the trees. I took a lot of damage from this red guy here, so that's probably what killed me last run. Was getting hit by hit by a red red enemy. The enemies have their own stats, um, and there we go. Ooh, nice, a beater, seventy four. That'll help out a lot. Um, I'm gonna go back into and apply some stamina, I think, to better utilize the beater, and then more defense because I keep on getting wrecked by these reds. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and switch to beater and then push forward. I think I just got a couple more runs left until uh, some of the later game mechanics kick in. I'd like to show you those. And some secrets uh, <laughs> modes that I added. So for this um, game jam, the the theme of the game jam was mode, interpreted however we wanted to interpret the word mode. So I did that through uh, the mode switching mechanic. There were a total of, um, I believe, uh, thousands. No, there's thousands of applicants, like 2,800 applicants, I think. And then um, the number of submissions was 500 in seven games. But um, I think a couple people pulled out of the contest. It's down to 501 now, I think. The. Um, a lot of these games were very good. Uh, I saw a, a clone of... Um, I forget that name. Uh, like, um, Ultra Kill. Uh, doing, like, elements. And uh, um, mode switching for... It was like a combination between um, Neon White and 
uh, and um, an ultra kill. So that was really cool. You can, uh, I believe, at the end of the contest judging period, which uh, I don't know the exact date. Uh, I think it's uh, something like 10 days from now. Um, Video Game Donkey will be doing a uh, very long live stream of the game <laughs> games in the in the game jam. So uh, before I die, I'm gonna try to push as far forward as I can manually. Yeah, see if we can maybe get a new record distance. <laughs> We want a far distance for some of the mechanics. Uh, I want to survive one more. Okay. I think that I think that's good enough. So I have a keeper seventy-seven, which is nice. And, uh, keeper is a good weapon. And you'll see that now that uh, since I reached the snow area, the background has changed to snow. And this is the same for the tr for the main menu as well. So if I go back to the main menu, it'll change this and it'll load up your uh, your current loadout. Um, and uh, going back, we'll go back to the stars menu. So we're going to switch over to keeper, and we're going to apply these points pretty um, DPS focused. Um, I can apply 100 points at a time, so I'm going to do that. And then over here to attack speed and start a new run. And you'll see that I've, uh, I've unlocked accelerate mode. So if your character's strong enough and enemies are like, no problem, you get accelerate mode, which pushes you forward into enemies as they come in. So um, it didn't last very long because I haven't made very far progress yet. Um, but if you get pretty deep into the game, it'll it'll push you really far into the into the like later zones the game has a bunch of hidden modes which i can activate with f6 let's turn safe mode off what have i just done and uh we have lovely modes such as golden mode which makes everything lemon colored we have invert mode which inverts all the colors Ooh, two color changing modes, nice. Uber mode, which doubles your size. We have hyperspeed mode, which makes the game really fast and hard to play. We have this lovely mode, yeet mode, <laughs> which yeets enemies when you kill them and gives the nice yeet sound effect. And my favorite mode of all time is um, MLG Pro Gamer Mode. Flying across the screen right now is uh, Mountain Dew, Doritos, uh, Tostitas Pizza Rolls, and energy, various energy drinks. I can disable all these uh, with uh, F6 uh, by turning on safe mode again. Oh, I can turn on yeet mode as well. So that's nice. You can have both of these active at the same time. In fact, I can do that and invert colors. Turn on all the modes at the same time if you want to. Pressing F6 turns them all off. And we return to normal. So yeah. Um, this has been a gameplay footage of uh, my uh, latest game development projects. Um, I hope you like it. This is a there's a lot of um, progression mechanics that are are hidden in this game, or um, uh, has, the player is meant to learn them over the course of uh, multiple playthroughs. Um, I think the uh, I did the sound and animations in this game very well. Um, kind of a practice run for uh, Windborn Ken. The audio system I plan for Windborn Ken is very complicated. And I tried to implement part of that in this game so that I could practice it um, for testing purposes. 
but now that I have experience doing that and have the code uh, ready, I, I can I can repurpose this code uh, at a later time. Um, so I didn't really uh, waste the time uh, in development. Uh, I'm going to be using all this code later. Um, but, oh, oh, you'll see that if I go into liquids, it also changes my player sprite. So it makes it transparent if I enter a liquid. That was hard to get working. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this run or get as far as I can, and then I will end the video. See how uh, far we can get. Or I might actually um, go into the save file and edit the stats so that uh, they are very high, so we can push forward. And I can show you some of the, the later um, biome changes. So let me do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close the game out. I'm going to go and edit the save file. And then change all of the stars values to like some really high number. Okay, they've been ch changed. Let's go ahead and relaunch the game. Okay, so if we go to continue game, you'll see that my star is uh, blue. I, th I think that's incorrect. So that may be a bug. Um, I've never sent my stats like that, so I don't think I've experienced this bug. It should be flashing rainbow colors. It's just static blue for some reason, um, which is the like default starting color for a rainbow. So I don't know why the rainbow color isn't animating, but eh, it's whatever. Go ahead and start, and we'll try to push uh, through as far as we can. Be very observant of the enemies, because if I press forward too many times, um, I'll be like, get a stack of 10 of them pretty easily. So you have to be vigilant on the enemies, uh, I think in order to uh, get to some of the later areas, I have to press forward like 400 times, so um, we will get there slowly but surely. Right now I am in the forest biome, which has some mud and water. I'm going to the dark forest, the deep forest if you prefer. I should have named these biomes as you entered them, but uh, again, things I could have done during the development cycle, but I didn't, uh, not because there was any time constraint, like the, um, the game jam gave two weeks of development time, which is substantial for a game jam. So it was not uh, difficult. So we're in the ice area. So the farthest that we've seen so far, but my stats are very high, so I can push it. Um, let's move it over to stamina. I think our damage is plenty high. Taking a lot of damage here from trees, I assume. Try to avoid those. You'll see that in uh, later points, like the uh, the enemies have spikes on them, and they have one starting out, but now they have two. This guy has three spikes. So as you go forward, they get more spikes. They change their appearance. Now in the swamp, which is very muddy. And here we have acid, which does a significant amount of HP damage over time. And push farther forward. See how I have like a um, thousand points now that I'm pushing forward? Because each enemy is giving like. Uh, something like 20 points per kill. So 
the um, the stats sta scales uh, the stats scale pretty substantially later. These trees are uh, becoming pretty uh, annoying, but that's because um, at this point in the game, if you have a, if you have a, a stats this high, uh, it's expected that you have weapons that like actually matter. So the weapons will uh, improve your HP regeneration. But we're in desert. And per, per, uh, go into the deeper desert area. wouldn't be so nearly dead if I had better weapons. I just need like one good attack. I don't think the um I don't think the trees can actually kill you. I didn't allow them to uh reduce your HP below zero, I think. Pretty sure. Go ahead and die. Push a lot of enemies forward here. So you have a slasher, rank 305. And now that's purple. So the ranks of the weapons increase based on stats. And I have thousands of stat points to apply. I can go in and be like, uh, nice sound effect for that. Well, this has been a long uh, video. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut it off now. Um, if you want to play this game, you can go to uh, uh, soaringmoon.itch.io slash facet underscore fury. And, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed my game. Okay, thanks, bye.